when you started your firm, what were the first things you had to deal with? Uh, sure. Um, first things first, like, I think even before I incorporated, I put out a website just to, like, my personal calling card, my business card, let the world know, like, this is who I am, this is what my, I do, um, put myself out there. So I got a website. Did you design it yourself or use services or how did you get that up running? I designed it myself. Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of you know services out there now where you, it, you don't need to know how to code. You just kind of drag and drop images yeah. and photos. Um, I used WordPress, um, which is fairly easy to use. Um, and I, so I got a website, opened up a bank account, you know, got my IOLTA account. Mm -hmm. Um, incorporated, let the state bar know that, you know, I was a solo practitioner now and just started taking on cases. You know, the first few clients that came in were people that I had known, you know, from my past life, from um, when I was working at the startup, contacts I had there. Um, so cases were trickling in and then... Were you taking any and all cases at first or were you still... I was still, taking like yeah. any and all cases just to pay the bills, um, just to get the word out there that I do good work, um, to kind of build up that book of referral business. Um, and as painful as it was to just take like any and all case um, and, you know, probably put in more hours than I needed to, to make mm -hmm. sure that I'm doing right by the client and doing extremely good work so that they refer me to their friends and yeah. whatever. Um, I think that investment of time and energy was worth it in the beginning. Um, cause now like this is not a good idea, but I really don't invest a lot in, in marketing. Um, it's, I get a lot of my business just through referrals. Like, mm -hmm. hey, Jeannie did a great job. Jeannie was great to work with. Um, come back to her. So um, that's kind of how I get my work now. 